Hi, I'm Mika Mitchell with Lone Star College Kingwood Library Services. This video is to help you properly format a book citation in MLA style. So let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is properly set up our paper. Once we are ready to kind of put the information in our works cited section, I'd like you to go to insert pages and create a page break. What this does it is that it will always make sure that the works cited section starts on a brand new page. No matter what's going on above it as you're editing everything before you turn it in, that works cited will always be on a new page. So we're going to center align the works cited heading and then just make sure that the next line is back to left align. Another thing that we're going to do is properly set up the uh, paragraphs. So the indentation for the paragraphs will now turn into a hanging one. Make sure that your paper is still set to double spaced and don't add spaces between the paragraphs. So now we're ready for the actual book citation. Let's get to the book. So we're going to take a look at Lone Star Tarnished. We've got the author's information along with the publication information right here. So the first thing in an MLA citation is the author. It's going to be last name, comma, first name. Unfortunately, in this database, it's already done it for us. So let's copy that over. You can hit Control C or right click and hit copy. Back on our paper, I want you guys to right click. And the reason for that is if we just hit Control V, it does some funky formatting and is in the wrong style and we have to do a whole lot more work. So instead, if we right click under paste options, keep text only, it keeps it keeps it in Times New Roman size 12. So the last name is Jilson. We've got the comma. Cal is the first name. And then we're going to put a period after that. That's sort of ending that sort of sentence indicating this is the author. The second sentence for this citation is going to be the title of the book. So Lone Star Tarnished, a critical look at Texas policy, politics and public policy. We're going to copy that over and bring it onto our paper. Again, right click, paste text only. And you'll see here that between Tarnished and a critical look, the heading and then the subheading, we have a colon and library cataloging stuff as that extra space. So we just want to get rid of that. Because it is a book, we're going to format it with italics. And that way it's saying to us that this is a piece of information that can be housed unto itself. We can pull it off a bookshelf or whatever. So let's turn off the italics for the rest of it. We're going to put a period because that's the end of the title. The next sentence that we have to put together is all the publication information. So when we go back to the book, we can just quickly copy this over and let's go in and take a look what that does. So it's the third edition, the publisher Rutledge is publishing from Milton and it was published in 2018. So let's clean this up a bit. First of all, we just say it's three ed, not third ed. An ed means edition. So because it's abbreviated, we do have to keep the period. And it's not capitalized because it's already in the middle of a sentence. But we do want to put a comma to break up the information. So having the location of the publisher is really old school. We don't need that anymore, so we're going to delete that. Rutledge is a publisher. We're going to get rid of that period, but have a comma instead. 
because we're still giving all the publication information. And then 2018 is the publication date, then a period. If this were a book, that's all you need. But we are publish, um, citing a book that was published online. So let's go back and take a look at the information. This is coming from a research database called eBooks Collection from EBSCOhost. So what we can do, I'm just going to make this easier on us, is we're going to copy that and then go to our paper. Again, right click, keep text only. So uh, you can do eBook Collection. I like to do EBSCO oops, host space eBook Collection. Now, this is a database, right? So it's another container. It's something that's housing smaller bits and pieces. And in this circumstance, it's the ebook itself. So we're going to italicize that. And I like to say it's the, um, the, the leaning tower of Pisa sort of thing, where it's kind of still keeping everything afloat. So the other piece of information for this particular container is just the location. Where is it? We're going to give them a cookie trail. Now you want to find the permanent link on the page and it opens up to a new uh, URL. This is different one than the one that's on the address bar of your browser. The one in your browser will never take you back to the, the book or the source of information if you're in a database. So always make sure that you copy the permanent link. And let's take that to our paper. I'm going to paste it in again, and I'm going to put a period at the end just because that's the end of the sentence. And I added another space just because I wanted to make sure the URL turns into a hyperlink. And the reason for that is it allows the instructor to just click on it, or maybe you need to go back to it. You can just easily click on it, and it will take you back to the book or the article. So there you have it. I hope this was helpful and uh, please email us or chat with us on the website. We will be happy to help you out. Go to lonestar.edu forward slash library. We're here to help. Ask us any questions. Take care.